happy monday my loves i hope you all do really well welcome back to a new vlog i just received my package from rns meals they contacted me and asked me if i wanted to try some of their meal preps and oh my god you guys know i'm so into meal prepping i actually need to do my own batch but they sent me five meals today i'm going to try the mojo chicken mediterranean rice and plantain and peppers i love plantain no do you know what i'm gonna go for the jerk chicken rice plantain and broccoli we're gonna do that these are so good because they're all macro and calorie calculated uh, they cook from high quality ingredients from scratch. They also change their recipes um, every week And I'm gonna put mine in the microwave for three minutes because they're chilled. But yeah, it looks so cool. I can't wait I'm just in the shed. It's actually boiling in here. This is where I store all my meal preps It's empty at the moment Oh my god, it's actually boiling in the shed. Oh my god, guys, this smells so good. What I like about this is got you've got veg, rice, plantains, like a bit of everything. Mmm. Okay. I just got flavour. I do have a coupon code as well, which will give you some money off. I'll leave all the details in the info box if you guys want to check it out. I didn't have to post this on here. So yeah, I'm really happy. So I'm definitely gonna see if I can do this more in a long term and get more meals for myself because it's so time saving and it also prevents me from doing takeaway almost every day. Uh, guys, it's been the longest day, but um, my sister actually brought uh, my cat Chi Chi to the vet because I don't know, he was just peeing everywhere weirdly and he was in pain. But apparently he had something stuck up there, like something weird and he's just been suffering. So we had, they had to like sedate him and take it out and stuff. So we're gonna go pick him up now and see how he is. Uh, he's gonna be so sad, he's like, where did you bring me? Gigi, are you feeling better? He just wants to go home right now. He's not having any of it. They, she literally gave me the thing that was in him going home all of this was up in there and they had to surgically remove it i'm gonna stay there as soon as i move it thank you so much <laughs> this is what i have to do so my sister can bring me to the vet this was only three pounds why am i paying six pounds for starbucks when you can get the same thing for like what i'm scared my camera's gonna fall you know who's that oh Oscar is coming along. You're not gentle. She probably budged me out the way. What? It's nice, right? That is nice. I mean, I could make it at home, but I don't like the milk frother like this, what I got. Because it's really hard to wash and the foam, I'm not a foam person, like I've realised, like I'm not really a foam fan. He did the biggest pee, I think he got what he was relieved. Okay, did they make you suffer? You had an operation on your baby? Oh no, oh, they shaved him. His bloods came out normal, so I'm very happy, he'll be, he'll be fine. <laughs> you go eat some fruit. So I'm not really a podcast person, right? But I literally have tried so many times to listen to podcasts and it's just really like not my thing. But anyways, I was just working yesterday and I listened to the Pressed um, podcast with uh, Mariam, Nella Rose and Adiola Patron. Literally, it was so interesting. Like it's just, they're literally made for it. I love all three of them. I literally watch all their vlogs. They're such nice um girls on youtube so definitely check them out literally love their videos but anyways i listen through the podcast and i'm literally looking forward to the next one so you know it's good right definitely give it a listen it's on spotify um and yeah i'm literally waiting for the next episode who's always here when i'm having my breakfast i've honestly never seen a cat love catnip so much 
He loves it. See, when he's actually doing way better. He's like walking about. He isn't really going far, to be honest. He's just chilling in the garden. I also got, obviously, you can tell I'm a Nella Rose fan, yeah, but I got the Are You Not Embarrassed hoodie. Uh, this is from the skinny dip collection she did um, and I literally really wanted it but it went out of stock and a size L came back in stock so I literally went for it, grabbed it. I'm really happy with the size but I need to put it in the wash because um, it's a bit powdery. I don't know why, it's like powder coming off of it so yeah I'm going to wash it. I got this really cute package from Saint Tropez and I got their fake tan so... I'm gonna give this a go because you guys know I have this really awkward like tan line on my leg right there so I was thinking to use fake tan to even it out so I'm gonna give this a go and you, you know I've already tried fake tan it's so beautiful on like tan deeper skin tones it just like gives a beautiful glow um, and then, yeah they sent me some what is this rosé um, some glasses and this like cute um, camera I'm gonna take some pictures with that thank you so much to Saint Tropez for sending that over He's being so needy. Like he just wants loads of cuddles, guys. Oh, Gigi. You just want some cuddling. Hmm? This is when he starts dribbling everywhere. Guys, I'm so stressed. Like, I just feel like I've got a million things to do, like work-wise, and then like on the side, I've got a whole list. Oh my god guys, no joke, it's been the most stressful day ever. Um, and so gloomy outside, but I got a really cute package. So Essie sent um, this cute picnic bag, and then they sent me all this stuff for a picnic. Look at that. So they have these colours that they sent me, I love this one, and I need to do my nails, so I might do this. What I love about these is that they dry really quickly, and they gave me some drinks. My battery died, so I'm filming on my phone. But yeah, they've given me so much stuff, literally spoiled me. I'm ready to go for a picnic, honestly. Um, so thank you so much to SE for sending that over. It's National Friendship Day. I'm having scones today for breakfast. I haven't had scones in so long. I'm so excited. Guys, I forgot how London is so nice. Look how tall those buildings are. Just appreciate more when you're not in it so often. Um, oh my God, there's so many people and it's so windy, but I'm gonna go for my laser today. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Um, we're just doing a bit of lymphatic draining, did you say? Yeah. Um, this is part of the hydrofacial. So we've done a bit of ex exfoliation and now we're leaving a peel on for a few minutes. Okay, skin's looking pretty good. I'm really happy, uh, but it will definitely look better tomorrow. But it was really relaxing, guys. Um, now I'm gonna do my laser, I'm gonna do my underarms. I have a feeling I won't be able to do anything else because of my tan lines. I've got a tan, you can't do laser hair removal when you've got a tan. So we might have to put that on pause, but I'm going to do Hollywood. To be honest, my hair's like so fine, like oh my god guys, it's so worth it. I definitely recommend um, laser hair removal. You can get a free consultation as well, and I think I have a coupon code which I'll link in the info box for you guys. Okay guys, it's Saturday. Uh, I feel like this vlog is all over the place, but I'm not really doing much today. I just feel like I needed a rest. Oh my god, there's a print. Hang on, hang on. I just feel like I need a bit of a break because I've just been so overworked to the point where like I'm forgetting things. Like I had a hygienist appointment book for this week and I just, it just completely slipped my mind to cancel it and I just didn't go so today i'm just gonna rest i need to bring chi chi to the vet for his post-op check skin's looking pretty good uh, after um, uh, my hydrofacial uh, session yesterday uh, and i was so happy because i was able to take out i think because of the exfoliation i was able to take out my milia it was huge um i don't recommend doing it at home but because i'm so used to doing it, i know how to like do it gently but i, I there was 
basically milia is like hard lumps on your skin but it's like um filled with like oils and debris and it just becomes rock hard and it's really hard to take out you can't just push it and take it out you have to kind of prick it and then it will come out but because of the exfoliation it just came out so easily i was so happy now i don't have that massive lump here anymore if any of you guys are wondering he's always on my chair i put a towel here so they don't like ruin my chair because they dribble a lot <laughs> But he's quite drugged up because I'm still giving him the medication. But I think he's been doing okay. He's been a happy cat. Been a happy cat. Oh, Gigi, what's this? Oh my god, what the hell is this? Look at him. More grass. As if you ain't learnt your lesson. No, Gigi. That's freshly squeezed. Guys, uh, these cherries look so good. Oh, I've never seen this before. I might get this. I don't know what the hell it is. It's called a sweet mattis melon. Lidl has one of the best bakeries, guys. Literally nothing. Nothing. Um, one thing that I came for was the seashell chocolate. They have the best ones here. It's here. Look at it. Beauty. What a beauty. Who does the same? I always have to grab one from the back. I'm so happy I found this right now. Okay, this looks so good. I hope it's not dry, but we'll see. Okay, we're back home now, and I'm gonna try these. I literally can't hold myself, like, I cannot wait. Oh my god, I think my favorite type is these ones. Look at Luna, these look really like juicy and syrupy. Yeah, these are pretty good. Mm. Oh, that one's so good. Try that one. I might try it out if you want a chocolate one. So good. Definitely recommend that if you're going into Lidl. Okay, so for lunch, I'm going to be making some caramelized onion sausages with some carrot and some baby potatoes. So this is my lunch. It looks so good. Oh my god, literally been craving this. So good. I'm trying the uh, honey hack that I've been seeing everyone do. <laughs> Wait, what was it meant to do? So you're supposed to eat it like this. Wait, why? Oh my god, you just bit into honey. Mm. Is that good? That's so nice. Really? It's like a sweet. Ignore me. Ignore my face because I'm cleaning. Wait, can I try it? You have to bite into it. That's really nice. It's so sweet though. <laughs> it's dinner time and I'm going to make some... I'm going to make a chicken burger with fries. I was this close to ordering food, but you know, you know what? I was like, no, I've got some leftover uh, chicken patties that I have to make. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. I managed to clean my room, so I was a bit productive. I did take a nap. So today's been a pretty chill day. Even went for a walk. I feel refreshed. Okay, that's going to cook for 20 minutes. No, 14 minutes. Fries are going to go in here for 20 minutes. I got this new uh, drying rack. It's huge. I got it for like £18 on Amazon. It's literally a bargain. I'm going to cut this melon up because this looks really yum. I'm going to store it in the fridge because I do like to eat my melons really cold. It's definitely different, but it's really sweet. But this is going to be even better when I put it in a fridge. Okay, so my melon's all cut up. And my food is ready. 